Well, I think as even as Arabs, when uh, we propose the Arab Peace Initiative, that provides the best guarantee for Israel to have to give the Palestinians their statehood. Arabs will normalize with them, and then uh, they will have everything can be arranged as security guarantees, as uh, you know, as a security architecture for for the entire region in order to ensure that there is no any more uh, wars in, in that area. And I think that uh, we have seen this willingness uh, by all, all the countries. I'm speaking about my own country, Qatar, uh, after Madrid and Oslo. Uh, we were the first country that uh, brought uh, the Israeli mission, trade mission. Uh, we signed uh, rela the relationship with, uh, with Israel. We were hoping that there will be a path forward uh, toward peace. Uh, yet, uh, from there to 2008, and we, when we have seen the war, we decided that this is not working anymore. And we believe that uh, not addressing the real issue and having a clarity about getting the Palestinians their statehood, uh, normalization and having, you know, relationships with with Israel will not uh, will not help in resolving. It will just will just drag the issue, uh, as I mentioned, to be forgotten. And that's, uh, I think, that we are in a moment where all of us we are showing our willingness to extend our hands to have an agreement, a peace agreement with Israel, if they are willing. Uh, to engage genuinely in a process that will make the Palestinians having their states at the end.